Le député de Kenton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It has been almost one year since the Economic and Social Inclusion Corporation released its report from Surfaces to Services, an inclusive and sustainable transportation strategy. In December 2017, I'd like to hope that the hard work of East ISIC Rural and Urban Transportation Committee has not gone to waste. This report included 35 recommendations to various government departments and regional service commissions, while no department has taken ownership over its implementation. One of the recommendations was that a single provincial entity oversees its implementation. Will the Premier mandate the Minister of Transportation and Infrastructure to oversee the, implementa the implementation of this strategy? Thanks. Minister of Social Development. Well, I thank the member very much for the question, and, and he brings up a very, very good point, because transportation is, in fact, a huge barrier to many people in this province getting employment and uh, getting access to health care and to other services, education, um, that, that they, they really need. And so um, this transportation report will not sit idle. We will be getting, actually, ESIC is going to be meeting very soon. I've, been, I've had one briefing with ESIC on, um, um, on the entire ESIC file uh, to get caught up and um, and we, we will be looking at this I also know that it is an interdisciplinary file where we do need the cooperation from Department of Transportation Department of Finance we're going to need all of our colleagues to come together on this it is one of those files that must be dealt with um, with the partnership of other departments and so we will be looking into this mr. speaker and I will report back at a later date <laughs> Thank you very much for the answer. And, uh, Monsieur le Président, une des recommandations dans le rapport des surfaces aux services euh, est que le gouvernement consacre un, finance, un financement provincial à l'expansion des transports en commun et transports communautaires pour aider à l'atteinte des objectifs de la stratégie. Or, le gouvernement provincial ne faut aucunement aucun financement direct pour appuyer les activités de transport en commun municipales et communautaires. Fredericton, Saint-Jean, Moncton, Miramichi financent leurs propres services de transport en commun et les autres municipalités n'offre pas du tout ce genre de service. Quant au service interurbain, il est très limité. Il faudrait un soutien financier direct pour faire bouger ce dossier et mettre en œuvre les objectifs de la stratégie de transport au Nouveau-Brunswick. Est-ce que le premier ministre va s'assurer de budgéter des fonds suffisants pour la mise en œuvre du rapport des surfaces aux services? Merci. The Minister of Social Development. I thank again the member for the question, and, and um, as we've stated many times in this House, um, um, we are reviewing all programs to understand what the financial situation is here. I will work closely with the Minister of Finance. We will look to see if there's something we can do in the very near future, um, and we will have a discussion with all parties in this House regarding a transportation strategy. Um, it is important. We need to see where the previous government has left us, and we need to see what strategies can be implemented sooner than later, and we'll try to work for a full uh, uh, for a full implementation of a transportation strategy that truly helps every New Brunswicker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.